today, we're making an all-time favorite. These are pork and shrimp spicy wontons. These make for absolutely delicious dinners or lunches and freeze extremely well. They're super easy to make, so let's get cooking. We'll first chop up one bunch of green onions. Then we'll dice five shiitake mushrooms. Next, we'll mince our meat. I'm using about 1 and 3 quarters pounds of pork butt today. A key quality to wontons is how coarse the meat is ground. You don't want to over mince the meat or use ground pork. I like to mince the meat about 1 to 1.5 centimeter strips, which gives the wontons a nice firm texture, but not too chewy. Next, we'll cut about 10 shrimp. I like to keep these pieces rather large to give the wontons a nice texture and bite. For the marinade, add two and a half tablespoons of oyster sauce, Two and a half tablespoons of sesame oil, one teaspoon of white pepper, four and a half tablespoons of cornstarch, and mix thoroughly. We'll allow the mixture to marinate for at least 30 minutes. To wrap, use a tablespoon to scoop about two thumbs worth of the filling mixture and place into the center of the one-ton wrapper. Next, using a wet finger, wet two of the four edges as demonstrated. We'll fold the wrapper diagonally and seal, making sure to remove all of the air from inside the wonton. We'll wet one of the corners and then pull down on the corners and join. This creates that iconic wonton look. I highly recommend using medium thick wonton wrapper, and if you want the yellowish color of the wontons, then pick a wrapper with egg in it. For the sauce, we'll mince 4 garlic cloves, a pinch of Szechuan pepper, 4 tablespoons of chili oil, 5 tablespoons of soy sauce, two teaspoons of rice vinegar, one teaspoon of chili flakes, and five tablespoons of hot water. We'll mix this all together. Bring a pot of water to boil and add our one tons. Cook until they begin to float. 
Once the one tons have floated for about two minutes, we can remove and repeat this process. We're only gonna cook about four servings today and freeze the rest. However, this recipe makes about 60 wontons. We'll pour our spicy sauce on top and enjoy. To freeze the wontons, allow them to dry in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes before transferring to a freezer safe container and separating each layer with parchment paper or foil. To cook frozen wontons, simply repeat the process used today. Let me know what you think in the comments below and if you enjoyed. We'll see you next time.